Hello and welcome to my channel. So you've got no face today. Uh, we had a very powerful full moon last night and some of you will know that I am I'm particularly sensitive to full moons. So it's doing all sorts of things to me and uh, yeah, I just don't really feel like having my face on camera today. But my boy's dad has kindly taken them out for an hour, so I'm going to shoot a couple of videos now. I'll do, I'll do one, then, uh, I don't know, go take a shower or something and do the next one. Um, I haven't decided where the setting will be for the next one. But um, this particular reading was from... So when, when the moon is full, I have mentioned in the past that the veil for me between this world and uh, the other realms is really, really thin. And I had a lovely visit from Jesus, actually. And I love it when it happens because, and this happened actually last full moon, I got a visit from Mary. And, uh, you know, I didn't invite her. So, <laughs> and I mean, I, I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean, you know, sometimes I, I deliberately, most of the time I deliberately ask, you know, uh, somebody up there questions. Uh, but yeah, I didn't actually. Jesus just <laughs> gave this to me in the wee hours of the morning. Um, so I'm going to share this one first. But I do have another one as well from him, um, and this was during a, I actually did a healing session on somebody last night, and during that healing session, uh, Jesus had something that he wants me to share with you. So I'm going to share that a little later on today. Uh, did not see that one coming, so um, yeah, still not quite sure how I'm going to put that one together, but uh, yeah, I will either post that later today or tomorrow. So anywho, uh, before I keep on rambling <laughs> much longer, um, the message, the, well, the, the vision that Jesus gave me uh, this morning was, uh, it was actually, I, I was actually a lioness and I was hiding um, in, the, in the weeds or the, what do you call it? The grass, sorry, the savannah. I was hiding and I was watching something in incognito mode, um, which I've, I've done actually before. I've never talked about it and maybe someday I will. But uh, I was watching basically what's happening um, in one of the other planes. And there was a, I'm going to call him a sentinel. So there are sentinels who watch particular beings uh, that um, when they start to light up a little bit too much, charge up just a little bit too much, they, they come at them, Yeah. And uh, I really hope I don't forget to mention um, what Archangel Michael said to me years ago, which is that, you know, we, we do become hosts for these pests, okay? So they send pests basically to come and pester us um, if we're lighting up a little bit too much. But uh, yeah, so this sentinel was, it was observing somebody that was lighting up a little bit too much. And uh, this sentinel had red eyes. And there's a laser beam that comes out of these eyes. And what this sentinel was doing was attempting to manipulate a particular person. Yeah. And they only ever do it through the brain. They can never do it through our heart. And this person who was doing so well uh, got into, it's, it's as though they were hypnotized, essentially is what happens. Yeah. Uh, they got into a little boat. And they started to row the boat very mechanically, very robotically. And they were rowing backwards, yeah? Not forwards, but backwards. And then Jesus showed me, it was like, cut. Like when you watch a movie, yeah, cut. <laughs> it was a quick cut. And then he showed me a cockroach that was outside on its back, legs wriggling, yeah? A cockroach that was well and truly dead. And he explained to me that this was a cockroach that somebody had already quite some time ago. <laughs> grabbed and he did show this to me so I'm going to show you somebody had already grabbed a big ass can or tin of mortine and sprayed this cockroach dead yeah killed it dead and now this cockroach is attempting to come back and have some kind of a revival and uh, you know this is particularly people who are very forgiving in nature and I do include myself in this people who are very in forgiving in nature are particularly particularly vulnerable to this sort of thing Okay. Um, and then I was reminded of something that Archangel Michael said to me years ago, actually. And he said, you are a host and it is up to you to, um, what did he say? It is up to you to take care of the pests. Yeah. So that's what they do. What do pests do? They come to pest you. What do the bugs do? They come to bug you. Okay. Um, and you know, if, if you don't have anybody trying to bug you or pester you, uh, then I'm going to say the devil's pretty happy with you. Yeah. <laughs> You're not too much of a threat. So take it as a compliment when they're coming at you. Um, 
Now, I think that's all I wanted to... I feel like I am forgetting some... Oh, yes, I knew. Before I do a card read, uh, I did just want to say that I apologize for yesterday's video. I know it cut off short. I do have an issue with storage. So um, basically, to cut a long story short, that masculine, if you did watch that video or if you're called to after this, um, basically, what was in her apple pie was something that is very healing to that masculine soul's DNA. Um, and that's why nothing on his table will suffice, yeah? Because it doesn't, as, as delicious as it might be to the human palate, it doesn't actually bring sustenance to his soul, okay? So um, just for those of you who were interested to know where that story was going. Uh, okay, so I think we're ready now. So I'm going to pull one from this Rider Waite deck. And as I've told some of you before, this one is a deck that I don't use very often because it has been attached to an energy of a King of Cups, somebody who actually did come and, and cause me a lot of pain, at a point in my life, and I don't, I don't use it because of that, because I don't like to go backwards. Yeah, we don't, we don't come with a reverse feature. <laughs> Thank you very much. But I want to actually today. I want to because I'm going to pull one card from here, and this is something that needs to be released. Okay, even it might come back looking at something beautiful. Yeah, who knows? And then this is something that we need to say yes to. One card from each. Okay, all right. So, and it's very hard to shuffle over this because I'm kind of, I have little arms, okay, they're not that long, and I have to kind of bring them around uh, without knocking my tripod over, but uh, anywho, one, two, three, and I do apologize if you prefer your tarot readers manicured, I just honestly can't be bothered, okay, I've got better things to do, all right, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, there he is, oh my god, <laughs> I dropped the mic, what did I just say? I said, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah, what did I say? A king, <laughs> a king of cups, I can't believe this. <laughs> a king of cups, yes, who hurt me a long time ago and is trying to come back, I know, yes, and I have heard from this person actually <laughs> and in my dreams, but uh, yeah. This king of cups, see that? Ace of wands, wants to reignite a spark, but uh, no, we ain't got time for that. Yeah, get out the Mortine. All right, ladies, that one's for you. <laughs> okay. Or masculines, you know, if you were in the feminine energy, reverse roles as you see fit. If somebody absolutely... So the way it was shown to me when this person did this to me, essentially, I was shown the Ten of Swords, and I'm not going to start pulling cards out from this deck, but I was shown the Ten of Swords, which shows a, a figure with Ten Swords put through their back. And then on top of that was placed the Six of Wands, which is somebody riding victoriously on a horse, okay? So not only did someone stick ten swords, this person stick ten swords in me, he also rode over me, trampled over those swords, um, you know, to victory. Uh, but uh, yeah, was it really victory? That's actually related to the next reading I'm going to do. Mm, okay, so thank you very much, uh, Jesus, for that. Uh, and Michael. All right, so one card from this deck. One, two, three. This is what we need to say yes to. Okay. One, two. Oh, what do we need to say yes to? Okay. Well, that's interesting. So that's very interesting because Seven of Swords is a card of deception and Nine Wands is about somebody who's really, really battling through it. So it's a card of not giving up, perseverance. But why Seven Swords? Can we get a bit more context? Yeah. Because with every card in the tarot, there's good and bad associations with it, yeah? It is my least favorite card, but... <sighs> okay, all right. So um, this is a different person. And I am actually going to say, but the only I only know this because I've been talking to the universe about this quite a bit in my own time. This is about a masculine. This I know it's a feminine on the card, but it's actually not. Just trust me on this one. It's a masculine um, who has been planting seeds in a certain direction, but for whatever reason, he was given false information. He was given false information and um, he's now made it a little bit more difficult to return to a particular feminine, okay? Um, but he does want to because we have the six of wands here. He actually does want to, but it's not the same thing. But I, I do need a little bit more clarification from this. Justice, yeah, justice is, that's divine justice, by the way. So if somebody's got the energy of justice, um, not the six of pentacles, that's a human human scales. They're not as, as accurate. 
But uh, yeah, he, this particular person may have annoyed you because the, you may have felt like things were kind of going okay and then they just kind of went cold or something. Uh, um, but there's, oh, okay, this person is also, okay, got it. This person did that because, you see those foxes there? Somebody's talking in that person's ear. And saying things about you that are not true, okay? Um, and so they have put a bit of a wall up. This can also be a wall. They put a bit of a barrier between you. Can we get a little bit more information, please? One, two, three. Because it still feels like it's not quite clear. One, two, three. But it is a masculine. There we go. Um, judgment. So that is actually in this deck. That is actually Angel Gabriel. Yes, yeah, he there with his trumpet. Mm. Um, so yes, that is, when that card comes up, either judgment or temperance, it is referring to the divine, yeah? Um, they've got the, and again, look, it's come up again, the justice card, another major arcana, divine justice. This particular person that's coming at you is not actually coming in a bad energy. They just got a little bit confused. And I'm actually going to say it. I, because I was told something um, to do with this actually a few days ago, this King of Cups is actually, that King of Cups soul, is deliberately trying to sabotage this connection. Yeah, so some of the things that this person is hearing are not true. Yeah, because the King of Cups doesn't want to release you. That's the issue. Can we get one more even? Let's get one more. One, two, three. Oh, that went upside down. And that's, <laughs> oh, look at the magic of tarot. Did you see how that just flipped? Please rewind and have a look. I didn't do that. Um, it takes a lot of energy for a card to acrobatically flip like that. And at that speed, whoa, that was like a, that was like a fighter jet. Um, the Ten of Cups is meant to be upright. And that is your happy ever after. Yeah. In some decks, it even comes with a rainbow. But look at that sunshine and look at them. I mean, they're so happy. He's got his arms around her. They got their arms up. I feel like they're praising God for, for how blessed their life is. They got some beautiful children here. But that flipped. It flipped and it landed on the King of Cups. Yeah, he didn't get his happily ever after with his feminine and it's really pissing him off. So he's trying to sabotage another connection. Um, can we get one more thing, please, about this particular masculine over on this deck? Okay, I want a little bit more information on him, please. All right, one, no. Stop it. Okay, so hard to... <laughs> Okay, look what just happened. You can't see it. It doesn't matter. Um, the Seven of Cups just came out, flipped out on its own, completely involuntary movement, and it landed near the King of Cups. Seven of Cups is about meddling, yeah? It's trying to confuse somebody masculine. If you are the nice masculine from the red pile watching this, please be aware that a lot of the information you're getting is not accurate, yeah? Somebody's playing tricks on you. One, two. Okay, my goodness. All right. Ten Swords. Wow. Ten Swords is a card that I just said to you a moment ago. That's what the King of Cups did to me a little while ago, yeah? Ten Swords. But this is reversed. Did you see how that... I don't think I've had acrobatic flipping in my card reads uh, ever. That flipped. That completely flipped, yeah? Because it's not meant to be over. Somebody wanted it to be like that. Someone was trying to end a connection. But look, and look where it landed. Right near Angel Gabriel, yeah? He's blown his trumpet. <laughs> means it's going to happen. Yeah, nobody can kill this connection. And we have underneath this, we have the King of Swords, yeah? Um, upside down, see? Yeah? And look, and the Six of Swords upside down. See, this is what the, the King of Cups is attempting to do. The King of Swords... Upright is a very logical man, thinking clearly, yeah? Look at that. Look at the way he holds his sword. Very alpha male energy I get from this guy too, yeah? The uh, the man spread. Very alpha energy, but he's upside down, yeah? So he's not thinking clearly. What he thinks is true is not true. Um, and the six of swords up, upright is, look, um, I'm getting out of this mental anguish. I'm going to a peaceful place, but it's upside down. Someone's trying to turn him upside down. Yeah. Uh, don't let them. Oh God, am I going to do it? Yeah. I feel what's that? What's that? Cause it just came to me. I got to, uh, I might be pitchy. Cause it's still early here. How does the song go? It's a crowded house song. Um, oh yeah. Uh, don't let them win. Yeah. Hey now, hey now, don't dream it's over. Yeah, that's it. When the world comes in, uh, don't let them build a wall between us. That's it. When the world comes in, they come, they come. 
to build a wall between us we know that they won't win all right um i think that's it uh that is that is a lot to unpack you might need to watch this again <laughs> i wish you all a great day and please find time to play